All right, so it has come to my attention due to this video here by Ben Rollins, shout out to Ben Rollins, that there are people getting free PS5s, free PS5 Pros, content creators. So um, we now see an influx of videos uploaded four hours ago, two days ago, two hours ago, three hours ago, 16 hours ago. Everybody's getting their PS5 Pros and they're doing unboxings. I didn't buy one. I didn't have the money to buy it and I can't justify the price over my fat PS5 anyway. So I wasn't going to buy it anyway if I had the money. So I'm looking at these unboxings. So here we go. I trust Mr. Uh, Your Average Consumer. So that's whose video I'm going to watch. I have not watched it. I don't know why it's saying that I did. All right, y'all. Right. So we're going to watch this video. Let's get to it. Five Pro is here. Let's unbox it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Shout out my dog, uh, your average consumer. I watch a lot of his videos. I watch a lot of his videos. His content is quick and to the point. That's why I like it. I think it's my first time reacting to one of his videos. Boom, 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 boom. And here we go. This is everything you get inside of the box. Of course, we got the PS5 Pro over here. Some paperwork. We got your safety guide, quick start guide, power cable, HDMI cable. No stand, it's crazy. That's Radio, nasty work, Sony. Feet stands, and of course, your dual sense controller. All of this is pretty typical. The only thing that's gonna be really different here is this guy. So let's check it out. Let's unwrap this thing. Yeah, that's that's pretty dope. It looks slightly smaller. Now, I've always been a fan of the PS5's look and the aesthetic. Uh, one thing I'm noticing here, unlike the PS5 Slim, these are both the same texture. So the plate, the textures match. Thank okay. you, Sony. Wouldn't it have been a weird look if the top was glossy and they had this? And I'm glad they're not doing it on this. My, my was we got more divider. Ah, uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe, but no. <laughs> now that we can actually touch one, because when we went to go see it in person, we weren't really able to put our hands on it. We just kind of got to kind of give it glance at it real down. hard. Now we can look at it, take this thing apart, not take it apart, but like take off the plates. And actually, are these actual vents? I'm not seeing any vents. This is just for the aesthetic and that's okay. You know what? I thought those were vents. I thought those were gonna be vents, but I guess not. And I don't like the glossy finish in the middle. It makes it look cheap. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm not, I don't know. I know the original one. I'm looking at the original one right now. It does have the gloss in the middle, but that one, the way they did it on that one and the PS5 Slim, it looks it looks cheap. It looks cheap to me, I ain't gonna lie. It looks cool though. It gives it a more aggressive look though, right? Like it needs grills or something, but clearly it does not. That grill is attached to the box. This looks like an additional piece that's just like added on. I don't know how well you guys will be able to pick it up. You see that? Yeah. Right in between, it's just, just kind of So you cannot take it off. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. No, you don't, you don't want to take it off. Because I was thinking that you might be able to add you know, RGB on the street. Oh, you can yeah. You know what? kind of dope, but not here. Nonetheless, He's cooking. He's like cooking. Look, He's thinking. a little bit more aggressive. But they did change it a little bit. This is taller than the PS5 Slim. Let's actually pull them out and compare it to the other ones. Mm -hmm. So here are all the PS5s next to the PS5 Pro. We've got the digital original PS5, the PS5 Slim. This one does have the disc drive though. And then we have the PS5 Pro. Okay, so mm. it's slightly, super slightly shorter than the original PS5. Definitely taller than the Slim. Three Stooges but type the vibe. back, you can see has gotten a bit thicker up top. So it's a little thicker on this side, a little bit more fleshed out. But, but it's not as long as the original PS5. It's about as long as the PS5 Slim. So it's like a bit of a hybrid between the two. It's got the overall length of this one and the height of this one. So it kind of- I, I don't like, I don't know. I guess it's, for me, it's just an aesthetic thing. Like the, you see how the original PS5, the, the edges in the middle are like more smoothed and rounded out. And here it's like kind of curved. I don't like it. It makes it look cheap. I don't know. To me, it makes it look cheap. Like, I don't like that. I don't know what it is. I, it, it must be, I must be on some weird shit. I don't know, but I just don't like it. 
right in the middle. So taking a look around the actual PS5 Pro, we've got two USB-C ports, and your power button up front, and in the back, we've got our HDMI port, your ethernet port, two USB-A ports, and your power port. Now, obviously this is the standard white edition, but we've all seen the 30th anniversary. Mm, the 30th anniversary that's what I wanted. looks absolutely I couldn't amazing. get it. And we will be getting our hands on that. So definitely make sure you're subscribed to the channel and look out for those videos because we got all of the PlayStation stuff. We got the PS5 Pro, we got the DualSense Edge controller, the PlayStation Portal, the regular PS5 Slim, and I think even just the regular straight up controller as well. Don't ask me how much I paid for it because Sony's website was Killing us. Thousand dollars, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I tried to get one, but I couldn't get that's one. All, that's, that's all. That's all. Sold out. Hold on, can I still do this? I don't even. That's that's messed up. <laughs> so definitely make sure you're subscribed to the channel. But we got some things on the site, so I'm not too mad. Yes, I am actually. Either way, so he paid five on grand on on, on eBay. That's design, what he's saying. He paid like five grand on eBay. Legs that the PS5 Slim has. Let's see how we add that. So we just throw one here. There are these so holes cheap. for it. Then boom. So y'all did wrong. And that's pretty much how it sits. If you want to lay it down horizontally. But if you don't want to have y'all did bad with that with that bullshit ass horizontal stand. And y'all did bad with that, um, with that, um, charging what eighty dollars or however much it is for the vertical stand. That's ridiculous. You charge us seven hundred dollars for a console, and you taking away features. You're taking away the disc tray. You're taking away the stand, and you give us the little bullshit plastic pieces that you could just easily lose and could break at any point. Like nah, Sony, y'all did bad. Y'all did bad on that. Y'all did bad. Nobody could convince me otherwise. Have it horizontal and use these little legs. You can just add on the vertical stand. It is sold separately, but it does $30, work. $30, the same okay. One but still, out, still. It's got a different stand, so you can pick up one of the existing ones and slap it right on there. Now, I know there's been a lot of discussion around the PS5 Pro, and for those of you who maybe haven't heard of what the PS5 Pro brings to the table, this is what it's supposed to do. The PS5 Pro has an upgraded GPU, which is 67% better. It also has 28% faster memory, which enables 45% faster rendering times, so all the details that are rendered in your game will load in 45% faster. Now, those are like the number upgrades, uh, but in terms of other features, we're seeing advanced ray tracing. And I actually got a chance, like I mentioned before, to see this in action. I think where we saw it the best was like in racing games, where you can literally see your car's reflection on another car that's driving near you. Also being able to see rain on the road and rain flying off of your tires as you drive around. There's some pretty realistic stuff that gets added into these games that kind of make it more immersive. You probably don't even think about it while you're playing, but it's those little extra bits that kind of just make it feel like super realistic. All of that stuff is enabled with ray tracing. And from what we saw, it looks pretty good. Now, PlayStation also introduced this other feature called PSSR, which is PlayStation Spectral PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution. Basically what that means is using AI upscaling, they're going to be able to enhance a lot of details. We also got to see that in person. I think in Ratchet and Clank, there were these confetti pieces that were flying around. And with that PSSR, uh, we were able to get more details from the confetti. I think we were able to see even more of them. Uh, so that is a feature that I think is going to have probably some of the most impact on our games. That's what's gonna add a lot of the details Hold on. No, I would say like the CPU, with the CPU, there could be like some bottlenecking issues, you know, because you, you upgraded the GPU, but not the CPU. And maybe the CPU is strong enough to run and, and run in, uh, in cohesion with the graphics card, but you would think they would upgrade the chip as well. But I guess if you upgrade the chip, that makes it a next gen console, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm just not finding it finding it a reason to justify me dropping the dropping the 700 on it. You know, if I if, even if I had the expendable income.
detail that we won't be seeing with like your standard PS5. Now here's the thing, this is $699 and I know a lot of people are not gonna wanna shell out that kind of money. We've made it abundantly clear in the comment sections. Uh, and that's cool. Now, I'm gonna be testing this thing out. I'm gonna give you guys a full review so that you can see if it's something that's worth your time. So I'm gonna be testing it out on like larger TV screens, maybe some smaller TV screens and see if the value is there for those smaller TVs. But if there's anything specific you guys wanna see in the review, let me know with a comment down below. Now, I do need to see if this thing powers on any differently. So let's check that out. Probably right, not. So let's power this on. Oh, hold on. Does the light go all the way from the bottom or is it just at the bottom now? Looks like there's a strip all the way over here too. But this is all I can do on this video. Can't go any further. So definitely check out the full review to learn everything there is about this guy. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, you know what to do. Lots of coverage. Yeah, so that's see. that's the video. That's the video. I mean, again, I, I, I can't, I can't, even after the unboxing, seeing what it comes with, even though we already knew, even looking at it up close and it just doesn't intrigue me to, to it's not intriguing me to, to get it. I mean, it's dope. It's dope that you get the performance upgrade. You get the ray tracing. I'm one of those people. I'm not really a huge graphics or, but I can see and appreciate the difference in uh, fidelity. And uh, and with these with these consoles and things of that nature, I do game on PC as well. So, you know, I can see the difference between console and PC, and the difference between um, like mid generation upgrades. I've I've been through in my life probably five or six mid generation upgrades, and I've been able to so I'm able to see the difference. Some people's eyes can't even perceive that, but. I can and I see the difference, but it's 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 very it's negligible. It's negligible and and it's like you're selling it to the graphics stores, but even for the graphics stores, y'all gotta admit it's not really that impressive compared to PC. Because if you're a graphics store and you would buy this PlayStation Five Pro, you probably have a PC that can run games even better than your PS Five Pro would be able to. But I guess they are they are coming out with like PS Five Pro enhanced titles so i guess that's worth trying i feel like like if you're not a content creator don't buy this shit if you're not a content creator don't buy it like wait till the price drop wait till Black friday or something like that if you really want it that badly but don't drop no 700 dollars on it wait till it drop to like 650 600 wait for like a black friday or something if you really want to get it like your ps5 that you got right now is it's fine. Like, if you don't have a PS5 at all, if you don't have a PS5 at all, go for it. You might as well go for the full shit because you never had a PS5 anyway. But if you already have a fat one or you already have the slim one, you don't really need this. But, yeah, that, that's enough of me ranting. I just wanted to, to check out an unboxing video because normally I would be doing the unboxing, but I didn't buy this one. So I just wanted to check it out. So y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comments, all right? So you already know the vibes. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. So boy, just falls and we out. One.